Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a Node.js server with a connection to a SQL database. Uh, I'm going to leverage two CLI tools. One is called Express Generator, and the other is called SQLize CLI. So these two tools make my life a lot easier because they scaffolding code files very, very quickly, saving a lot of boilerplate code. So how to use these two tools? First, I use Express Generator with the double hyphen git option to automatically create a git ignore file. And then my project name, let's call it backend. So one line of code, express double hyphen git backend will generate a huge chunk of files and folders. Uh, saves a lot of hassle. This git ignore file plus this www file, um, it listens on port 3000. You can change it to whatever port. And I personally would add a line code here, a callback function, um, because when the server is running, I want the console to print out something. Console log, sorry, my typing is slow because I have a huge microphone in between me and the keyboard, yeah. Server is listening on port, dollar symbol, let's use port. So this is nice. When your server is running, you'll print out something. So you know the server is listening on the port. Save the file, and I personally also would change the view template a little bit. The index.js, the default is express. I change it to the node.js with SQL demo. Okay, something more informative. Now we can test your server. You can use node bin 3w. Let me see. Oh, I didn't install any Node.js packages. Yeah, so npm install first. Express generator only create the skeleton. It does not flesh out the packages. Six packages are installed. These six guys. And you can also install additional packages. npm install, pg, pgh store. And this is PG and PGH store is for connecting to your Postgres SQL database. If it's Microsoft SQL, it's called a tedious, a different engine. Yeah. You also want to install .env to protect your passwords. And you also want to install SQLize. Obviously, this is the library for writing SQL code in JavaScript. Okay. After installing these packages, you should be able to run the server. Server is listening on port 3000. If you launch your browser and navigate it to your localhost port 3000, you should be able to see the server right away. Localhost 3000. Okay, it's on another window, um, on another screen. Yeah, Node.js with the SQL demo. Welcome to Node.js with the SQL demo. So it is quite informative, and you of course can write whatever stuff you whatever stuff you want. Um, you do not have to use this. Uh, you can go to the template engine uh, here, index jade, add whatever text, um, documentation, whatever, to explain to people what the backend is about. Now here, the server is running without any issues. Now let's connect to a SQL database. So you again leverage this SQLize CLI tool, CLI, and uh, you use this single function called init. So a huge chunk of folders and files are created for you. And one thing you need to tweak is the config. So let's create this touch, um, touch.env, create this .env file. This is for protecting your password, okay. So config JSON, uh, let's create some password first. Let's call it uh, password equals 123456. That's my password for my database, very easy. Then in this config JSON, you need to change the file name to JavaScript because you want to import some password, right? So here, require and call this guy dot inv config. Then you can module export username test password. You can use process.inv.password, whatever you just created. Good, there's auto correction. So for the database, my database name is also test, yeah. 
username database the same and dialect i didn't use mysql it's postgres and you may write ms sql microsoft sql whatever sql database you're using and i also disable logging because uh, it produce a huge chunk of stuff to your console apologize my typing is quite slow because i have a huge microphone between me and the keyboard so my arm is kind of stretched a little bit okay so this is how you set up a connection and for the development environment of course you can set up for the test and production environment and if you go to this models index file you need to make a little bit of change here instead of using json you delete the om javascript and you can see here the default environment is development okay it's also it's pretty much done yeah the connection is done so the next thing is to create some tables um, so you can use sqlize cli2 again sqlize cli and model generate and name let's call it a child um, i already did it let's uh, i think it's table already exists let's use something else like wife and the uh, attributes uh, first name which is string last name which is string and also you want to create something else okay my daughter just rushed into my room um, okay so here you create last name that string and you can create a date of birth which is a date so that's the first model and you can of course create another model called husband and it won't surprise you that the sql icli created two files for you here under this migration folder two files under this models folder so you can read the code in the index.js that's the core part of the operations this guy created the sqlize connection pool to connect to your database it also loop through any javascript files under this models folder except the index.js himself and then create those models and also create uh, those associations here like wife we can create some association here um, wife has one oh we can belongs to probably first belongs to models.husband and models.husband has one wife um, you can also add this little guy paranoid equals true it's safe so you never really delete any record with the paranoid equals true So you only need to define association in one of the files and this wife table will have a husband's id and this migration is not smart enough so you will have to add some code here uh, and the wife table this wife table yeah wives it is very smart it knows the plural form of wife is wives yeah you need to add the um, husband id field type default type is number integer and then you need to create a new migration um, so also using the sqlize cli tool to create a new migration to create a new constraint add constraint so that you know the husband id is actually um, associated to the id field of the husband table so husband and wife they have this one-to-one -one mapping i have another video talking about association using sqlize cli so i will not elaborate here so this is basically how you create a database connection with Node.js. It's very quickly if you use the SQLize CLI2 and also the Express Generator. And to import this index.js file, you can just uh, very easily use the in your code. Um, so you can, oh, another good practice actually is to change all the valve guys to actually uh, const because const is the new standard yeah basically with the const and let you do not use vars anymore yes 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 okay and to import that you can just const 
uh, you can import whatever models from that file equals require um, models that's all you need to do because the models folder the index.js is the default javascript file so this code will look under the models and go straight to the index.js file um, you can import any models or sequelize or whatever uh, from that file like husband or wife or whatever yeah from that file and you can use them right away so this is very very convenient and that is the end of my video thank you